Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Daily Office. This is Tuesday, August 24th. Yes. And uh, August is almost over. It's hard to believe that, but it it's is. It's going too fast. It's going to be some hot days, though, it sounds it's all like. all right. I like the hot days. Hot days of August. But we're going to be in Ecclesiastes again today. Um, we're down to the 11th chapter, verses 1 and 2. It's Melody's got two. a lot to read. Yes. <laughs> I'm Melody. This is Bruce, by yes. the way, which you already know us. Yeah. But anyway. Um, for those who are just tuning in for the first time. Okay, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, and I'm going to be reading scriptures 1 and 2. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Give a portion to seven, or even to eight, for you know not what disaster may happen on earth. This is the word of God for the people of God, and all God's people say, Thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. Oh, goodness. This this uh, scripture, I think, is one that I've heard before. Uh, it's about giving, and it's about um, material things. Um, and, you know, I was thinking about bread, casting bread upon the waters. The only time I've done that is with fish or feeding the ducks. The ducks. <laughs> or and, and if you do that, you know what bread does. It just sort of yeah. that's disintegrates. What, that's what I thought when I read the first part. It's like, mm. I don't think you find it after many days. But bread in the Bible a lot of times really talks about, like, um, give us this day our daily bread. It's talking about giving us the things we need, the nourishment. It, it's um, a place to live. It's all our material possessions and things yep. that we need to, to have. And so basically I think this scripture is talking about casting our blessings um, upon the waters and that it'll find its way back to you. You know, sometimes I think we're a little hesitant. We look at our, our budget and we say, oh, I don't know if I can afford to give to the church this week or whatever, or give to this charity or that charity. <laughs> and I always give to the church. I know. Uh, that's how we, we, we do it. But still, you know, I think sometimes there's a little hesitancy to, to give. But what the scripture is telling us is that when you give, you're going to give it back in return. That uh, it, it's going to, to bless you. And maybe not materially, but it might bless you in a lot of other ways. I, I think just if you give to somebody, it makes you feel good. So you get that and yeah. spiritual blessings. Are... I was thinking back over Kurt's uh, sermon on Sunday. And one of the things that he said was, if we are blessed, we need to be a blessing to others. And I think that's part of, you know, of what the scripture is talking about. If we've been given blessings by God, then we have a... a a law, or I don't know, a, a duty to, to give those blessings back to other people. And it, it's like a rippling effect, though. Once we bless one person, then... Pay it forward. Right. And they can bless someone else, and they can bless... And so it, it benefits the world. And uh, this is part of what the world really needs. Um, really needs it now, especially. Looking at this second uh, part of the scripture, though... Um, you know, one of the things he's sort of saying is uh, do not wait to be generous because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> and I would say the same thing. It's not just being generous, but also do not wait to speak to another person about how much you love them. Do not wait to right. to ask someone else for forgiveness. Do not wait to to thank somebody that's been kind to you or has helped you through your life. Um, because we never know what tomorrow's going to bring. And, um, you know, I've heard people say, I wish I hadn't waited. How many times have we heard that in a funeral, especially? Oh, yes. Just, I wish I hadn't waited. I wish I had told my loved one this or that. Yeah. And, um, because it's not, and now it's too late. Yes. You know, it gets to a place where you've missed your opportunity. Um, I was thinking back over when my mom died. Um, she died uh, the same weekend that Eric was born. And uh, one thing that they hadn't done yet was come and see Eric. Uh, I thought maybe they were just waiting until, uh, you know, later on when, when we were more settled or something. But we got a phone call Saturday morning and, and we had just come home Friday night. Friday with night Eric. around midnight, I yeah, think. That we brought the baby home. and when they called, I thought it was my mom and dad saying that they're going to come out and want to see the yep. baby. 
but it was and it was police officer and it was telling me that my mom had passed away and that my dad needed me um, and, and one of my thoughts through that whole process of grief and and I wish I hadn't waited for this or that or the other um, and she was only 57 she was still working uh, we didn't expect it I mean I, it, it took us by surprise that that my mom passed away that quickly same way with Jackie yeah yeah and, but the good things about, like with Jackie, one thing I remember is we had every, all the boys had come home for Christmas. Yeah. And they had gotten to be with her um, once she came back from California. And I don't think we'd done that for a I, long time. I don't time. think she ever saw Allison or Todd or Lorelai. Or yeah. Anything. So we, she did get to see all the family and we didn't, that was one good thing. Um, but again, we didn't expect her to go as fast as she did either. We had a lot of plans to have a lot of activities and stuff with her. So don't procrastinate. Don't wait because we don't know what tomorrow might bring. Um, and don't wait on, on blessing other people. Um, I think God says to go ahead and do that. That's something that is immediate. That's part of our ministry. That's part of our outreach as the kingdom of God is to to bless other people. We, and and, uh, Jackie was a very giving person. So at her memorial, we set out all, her all of her jewelry that she made and people took it. And I don't know, even to this day, some people come up to me and say, hey, I'm wearing some of Jackie's earrings. So um, that's special. And she gave, she gave even in her death, which I think she would have, she loved. And you've tried to continue on that giving with other people too, in sort of memory of Jackie. Yeah. In different ways and uh, some of that. So, well. So don't wait. Don't wait. If it's on your heart, do it. <laughs> Let's have a word of prayer. Gracious God, um, thank you for all your blessings and the things that you have given to us. And we just pray that we can be a blessing to others that it will come back to us, that uh, it is going to help the world uh, be a better place. Um, again, thank you for your generosity and just help us be aware of places that we can help other people and help us not to wait mm -hmm. to say things like I love you or to forgive someone or um, any other situation where it's important to do it now. Be with us, Lord, guide and direct us. In Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a good day.